Hello and welcome to another Design R1 training video. In today's video we're going to talk a little bit about our Sandler integration for ACT. We're very excited about the opportunity to extend some of the functionalities of ACT and unite them with the great sales methodology that is the Sandler selling system. So as you can see I have open on my screen right now uh, ACT 2010. The Sandler version or the Sandler plugin if you will that works with ACT only works in ACT 2010 and newer. If you'd like to know which version of ACT you're using, please go to your help menu and choose about ACT. And you want to focus on this very first line here, what you see. You can see I'm on ACT by Sage version 2010 uh, 12.1.181.0. So basically we're looking for anything newer than 2010 or a version number of 12.0 or greater. If you do not see uh, that information there you will need to upgrade. Also as of right now we only work with the Windows product. This will not work with the web based application yet. So please be aware that we're Act 2010 and newer as well as Windows only web is a no. We also only work with the English version of Act at this time. So we need to do an install. So I've already downloaded the installer from the website. So I'm going to go ahead and close Act and uh, I'm going to open up where I have saved the file. You can see I have a Sandler setup file here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and it brings up an installer. I'm going to go ahead and click next a couple times. I have some copyright notification I need to agree with. Next again and then next one last time. So what's going on here is we're writing some registry keys, we're copying some files, uh, it's a pretty standard installation script, if you will. And uh, when this is all done, it's going to come up and say thank you, and we're done. I'm going to go ahead and click on close at this time. I can now reopen my ACT application. So I have an icon on my desktop that I've clicked on, and ACT will now launch. And it tells me, hey, you've installed something new, and we need to get it activated. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. We need to plug in our information. So I'm going to plug in my details here real quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in the serial number. And I'm going to click on register. Now this goes out to a website and it activates it. It may take a few seconds in order for it to finish. Once you get this success green bar activated down here, you can go ahead and click on close and you're good to go. It will then tell you if your license is going to expire soon. You can see that my license is actually going to expire on February 1st, 2011. Uh, this is a yearly subscription that we're purchasing for the use of the Sandler technology and uh, this is just a reminder. Go ahead and click OK here and ACT is now going to load. Now because I have not used this Sandler technology yet on this particular ACT database, it's going to ask me if I'd like to add the fields. There's 80 or so fields that need to be added to the system so I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I'd like to do this at this time. And you see it's going to give us a little progress bar here that's going to show us exactly what is happening. So there's 88 fields and adjustments that need to happen on the back end of this database. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just sit back and relax and wait. Okay, you can see I'm now back in my ACT database and I have some new tabs on my contact entity. The first one is the fuzzy file tab. You can see I have some Sandler ease here, information that can help you in your sales process. Notice the Sandler submarine icons. When you click on these, you have little tooltips that pop up. You know, it lets you know what it is the fuzzy file is all about. By simply clicking off, you can then close the window and move on to your next Sandler submarine icon. I also have a disk profile tab. And where the real magic happens is over here on the opportunity section. Let's go ahead and create a new opportunity and you will notice that I have pain steps. I can actually get a copy of the pain funnel. Let me readjust my bar here. If I click on this pain funnel, it brings up the pain questions. I also have information about the various different stages and types of pain. Summary reminds me about my upfront contract here at the bottom. Same on my budget, decision, fulfillment, and post-sell tab. 
So you can see we've added the steps of the San Luis Submarine into your ACT database, correlating with the individual sales opportunities and the contacts themselves. The idea is to take the training that your students and alumni receive in your classes and actually have a tool with the same methodology to use in the day-to-day -day operations, and that being the ACT database. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop us a line, send us an email, or leave a comment on this video. Thank you.